Hi, Diego. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Jose. Hi, Natalie. Hi, teacher. How are you, Diego? Good, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Hi, teacher. All right. Hi, Jose. How are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Very nice. Hi, Natalie. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Yeah, how was your day today? Uh, busy, very yeah. busy. I was cleaning everything. <laughs> All right, yeah, I believe you. We keep busy when we clean. Very good. And Elmer, how was your day? Good evening, my dear teacher. Hi, Hi. How are you? I feel good, teacher. Excellent. I eat a lot of. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Yeah, Thank you fine. so much. <laughs> Since great weekend, I I eat a lot of because my sons uh, buy about uh, a lot of uh, food. Oh my goodness! Well, I hope you enjoyed yeah. it. Very nice. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Jose Rodriguez, are you a father? No. Yes. Maybe. I know, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, pues no, no le digo Happy Father's Day. Diego, usted I tampoco, eat. verdad, Diego? No, no, <laughs> Hi, Selena. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? We missed you yesterday. What happened? Ah, I'm sorry, but I have a lot of work. Okay. On yeah, 10, 10, PM. 10 p.m. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I understand. Diego, you were not in class either yesterday, right? No, teacher, I couldn't. I was working. Sorry. Okay, fine, that's okay. El Mercito, now we see you. Oh, my goodness. Very I'm nice. <laughs> All right. Hi, Williams. Hi, William. He's not listening to me. Oh, there you go. Hi, David. Hi, David. All right, very good. So I guess not many people will join us today because of Father's Day celebration. That's okay. Solo el mercito rompió la regla ahora. Very nice, Elmer, that you're with us. All right. So, hi, Williams. All right, very good. So, guys, today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to finish. Hi, Eric. Uh, we're going to finish talking about a uh, passive with like describing processes. All right. So uh, yesterday we talked about it. I sent the PPT, ¿verdad? Que si se la mandé. <coughs> I sent the PPT last night. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hi, Eric. Welcome. Yes. Sí, right. estaba bien portadita. Of course, always. All right. So uh, yesterday for uh, Selena and for Diego, the, the they were not here. And for some others that were not in class either, we were talking about using, ah, Noemi, my goodness. We were talking about using passive uh, describing processes, all right? So we went over the rules of how to make um, passive sentences versus active sentences. We have studied that before, but yesterday we looked at it again just in case, all right? So that's what we talked about yesterday. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now, and I said this uh, yesterday that I was going to do today, is I'm gonna share this with you right now. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> it's not this day, it's the other group. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I found it. I found it, okay. So here we have, guys, this is the one that I'm sharing, <laughs> that I'm sharing with you today. All right, so here it is. This is what we're working on right now, based on what we studied yesterday, all right? Passive voice uh, to describe processes. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of it right now, or a screenshot, whatever you want. Uh, take a picture of it right now, guys, so I can send you to your groups. I think it's going to be like three, two pictures, maybe. It's the same sh um, sheet of paper, but it might take two pictures. Ready? Yes. Okay. And this is the rest of it. Yeah, it's going to be three pictures. That's, that would be the second one is one coffee and the last one making paper. Right. Making paper. Okay. 
Making paper is shorter. All right. So you have three pictures. So the first one should be about now make popcorn, want coffee, and making paper. All right. Remember the structure that we started. Puede, puede un poquito, teacher, que no oh. la vi. Wait, hold on. A ver. La segunda, ¿cuál es? One coffee. One coffee. One Maybe. coffee. Esa Maybe. es la segunda, que, la que yeah. tiene ahí. Now make popcorn is number one, Elmer. Yeah, yeah. One coffee the is number one. two. Mm -hmm. the, the second one. Permítame, permítame. Yeah. Permítame. Okay. And the last one is making paper. Making paper. Yeah. Got it? He venido lento, teacher. Oh my goodness, you ate a lot, Elmer. That's the problem. Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Finish, Elmer. Sí. Okay. All Gracias. right. So, for the ones that were not with us yesterday, remember or just to remind you that you, when we use uh, the passive voice, we need to use the is plus the pp of the verb plus the past participle of the verb. All right. So we say. The books are read by uh, Jose, all right? Or the paint was painted by David, all right? And you can omit the doer of the action, all right? So you need to remember that. Um, I know that Diego, Anselina, Mario, Noemi were not in class yesterday, so you may not know what we're talking about. Hopefully, I'm going to send you to with someone that was in class oh, yesterday. Oh, in case, oh my goodness. <laughs> but in case you're stuck with someone that was not in class either yesterday, I'm going to be checking on you. So just to explain it, all right? So right now, I'm going to send you to your groups. Try to complete this exercise. What am I doing? I'm sharing this again. Oh, my. This is what I'm doing. All right. So here Don't be go. nervous. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. There you go. So now you may open your rooms and then I'm going to be checking on your groups to see if you have any problems, especially for the ones that were not in class yesterday. Okay. Okay. Natalie, did you get the invitation? Hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. How Sorry are you? to be late. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Lo que pasa es que como empezamos con el ejercicio que no hicimos ayer, por eso lo mandé ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna send you right now to a group, um, Anna. Okay. You're gonna be working with Selena and the V. All right. Second okay. Year. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah, you're welcome. Creo que ya, ya tiene que haberle salido la invitación. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Ok.
Esther. Hello, my dear student. Eh, MPI, ¿qué vamos a hacer aquí, teacher? Ni idea. ¿Por qué, mi amigo Elmer? ¿Qué le pasó? No, Se no, le tiene que, no, que no, no, enseñar a, a Diego, que no estuvo en clase ayer. Sí, pero no tengo ni idea, teacher, por eso la llamé. A ver, all right. So, acuérdese que ayer eh, Elmer y Diego estamos hablando de la voz pasiva para explicar procesos. Ajá. ¿Ah? La voz pasiva sí. lo hago conforme a el verbo be y el pasado sí. participio del, del X otro verbo, ¿no? Entonces, aquí sí, la idea sí. es, es ir leyendo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, por ejemplo, dice, popcorn is something you often eat when you watch a movie at a cinema. It is Ajá. very easy to make perfect popcorn if you follow the correct process. I will outline it below. The first step is that three tablespoons Shape. of oil Uh -huh. Added in a large pot. Ahí no le están dando el verbo, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que como inventar, digamos, el verbo que tendría que ir ahí de acuerdo al contexto que está siendo dado. Entonces, lo que uh -huh. se tiene que respetar es que va a llevar is o are en el caso, más el siguiente verbo que ustedes pongan con Diego en el pasado participio. Uh -huh. Next. For, uh -huh. Por ejemplo... Pero un ejemplo, the first step is that three tablespoons of oil uh, are added. Are added, yes. Are added in a large pot. Ah, ah, are added. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Buena, Diego. Of course. Bueno, ¿quién no estuvo en clase ayer? <laughs> Yo creo que Diego fue el que estuvo en que clase. El que estuvo y don Elmer estaba sleeping. Uh -huh. Sí, no, estaba no. durmiendo. <laughs> All right. Sí, ok, entonces, entonces es de, de ir eh, poniendo el, 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 la, el la verbo voz pasiva. Que, la voz pasiva, Ajá. exacto, la voz pasiva con el verbo que concuerde por el contexto de todo, ¿verdad? Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Es que para nosotros tenía, tenía uh, de alguna manera sentido así como estaba, pero ya viéndolo así como usted lo expone uh -huh. tan bonito. Of course. Ella, tenemos yeah, que verlo de otra manera. Gracias, teacher. <laughs> yeah, very well. Entonces, uh -huh. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Diego es es uh, ar ad ad me dijiste en la primera. Sí. On the oil, on the high frame. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jose. Hi, Eric. Hi. Hi How are you? Everything okay? okay? Do you understand what you're supposed to be doing? Yeah, but I, it's a little bit difficult. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's because you're in pre-advanced three. <laughs> That's why. I'm oh, my so, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me bad. I'm oh, sorry. that's great. <laughs> All right. Okay, mm. if you need help, I mean, the idea, guys, is for you to be like, of course, reading what you like the passages and try to decide which verb to use according to the context, all right? But don't forget that you're supposed to write the passive voice of the process. So, in the case, for example, number one, where it says, I will outline it below, The first step is that the uh, three tablespoons of oil are added into a large pot, mm. right? So the verb is not given to you. Usually what I do is I give you the verb so you can add it. But in this case, mm -hmm. you have to come up with the verb. So maybe the answers will not be the same for the rest of the groups because they can create another verb as long as it makes sense and as long as you're doing it and following the right structure, it's okay. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So keep on reading with Jose Eric and try to see which yes. verb, I mean, analyze or, or come up with the verb that makes more sense to you guys. Just write it on the PP, okay. that's the verb to be in present, okay? To make it passive, okay? Okay, yes. Thank you, okay. bye. Bye. Oh, I understand. Uh, and la cuchara de aceite sería. Why are you speaking Spanish? Oh. <laughs> no descubrió. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, what happened? What happened? All right. 
Okay. In the first exercise. Yes, yes, David. Okay. Do you understand, uh, Selena, Anna, and David, what you're supposed to do? In this case, mm -hmm. could be the first step is that three tablespoons of oil uh, is, is put it. Excuse no. me? Is put it okay. in a okay. large pot. Sure, you can say, okay. It's okay, but remember, the stable spoons is plural, so you ah, don't even have to say are are put, put or add added. So con agregados o son ah, puestos, yes. whatever you want to use. Are are Pero, added. Digamos que lo difícil de es que el verbo no se les está dando. Ustedes tienen que come up with the verb according to the mm -hmm. context. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe all the answers are not going to be the same, or maybe yes for the groups, for the other groups, all right? Because aquí es, cada quien va a pensar como el verbo más adecuado, ¿verdad? Okay. But, but in, in this case... Yes, David, uh -huh. But in this case, uh, that is food, is prepared food, is add. Yeah, the, because the usually add. add, yeah. The, the first one okay. is the table, tablespoons of oil are added in a large pot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this exercise is all in the passive voice yes, or we... Okay. Everything passive. is in the passive voice to express processes, all right? So that's oh, why if you okay. notice, Selena, they say first or the first or uh, next because they are giving you the process or the steps of making popcorn, for example, but you're using yeah. passive voice. Remember, Selena, the passive voice is used with the verb be plus the PP of the verb, the past mm -hmm. participle of the verb, okay? It depends okay. if it's singular, it depends if it's, if it's plural, that you're going to play with is or are, but the following verb is going to be a past participle, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. The next. The next. The next. Hi, William. Hi, Hi. Zoe. Hi. Noemi, Cita, que alegre tenerla en clase. Thank you, Te teacher. La fuga. ¿Qué le había pasado, señorita? Trabajo. El lunes sí me topó el trabajo y ayer me dio una migraña que ni, ni yo me aguantaba, niña. Uy, Dios, vaya. ¿Qué? Yo creo que es mucho estrés usted. Puede ser. Puede Ay, ser, no, pero ayer sí me sentía que me explotaba la cabeza. Ay, no. Sí, ya a las ocho y media estaba a dormir. ¿En serio? Sí, sí, mi hija dice que parecía bola tirada ahí. Oh, qué mala tortilla. Porque no, me desperté Ajá. como con la caña, que me tome alguna pastilla o algo, sí. O sea, me, me tengo que dormir como de conectarme para que sí, sí. No, no me siga. Ajá. Claro. Es ok, Pero vaya, pues estamos. la perdonamos, sí. vaya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Teacher, in this case, we, we need to use the basic passive, no? Yes, the basic passive, the one where we were, we were studying yesterday about, like Williams yesterday. Um, the basic passive yeah. is is or are, depending if it's singular or yeah. plural, plus the past participle of the, the following verb that you're going to use. Now, this yeah. exercise, it's a little bit difficult because the verbs are not given to you. You have to come up with the verbs. Yeah, I, am, I have only the verb put, put, put. <laughs> <laughs> put on the air, put on the, on, the, on the stove, put on the high flame. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Did you? <laughs> you? I don't know a lot of verbs, so. No sé si lo <laughs> No, no, eh, no veo. No, ya estoy chocolate y no veo. Ay, ¿Se Dios. acuerda de este cuadrito que nos hizo? Sí. ¿Podemos ayudarnos de eso con el orden de las palabras o no? No, solo usando el verbo to be. Y el, y, el y el pasado participio del siguiente verbo. Por ejemplo, en la primera, mis niños, the first uh, step is the three tablespoons of oil are added. Uh, put. Put. Uh, put. Ah, bueno, podemos cambiarlo en lugar de put, podemos decir add o added, en este caso son agregados o son sumados, are added in a lot. Ok. Or are I... 
Okay. Okay. Right, de ahí puede cambiar okay. el verbo con solo que tenga sentido y que siga la estructura, it's okay. Ah, okay. 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 Y en Pero de, trate en de cambiarlo, second, no, put, 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 for everything. It's my verb. I am married with, with this verb. How would it? Yeah, your favorite verb, uh -huh. Okay, and the second is uh, the pot is placed. Maybe, yeah, top. bravo, no, ya no lo más. Okay. Place, yes. And yeah. when is when? ¿Dónde está? Oh, on the stove and the oil are, are is, on the high flame. Uh, you or is heated? Is heated. Ya, ya ve, ya no, no solo le pone. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> is heated on a high flame. Uh -huh. okay. Is heated. Well, yeah, it, it makes sense. Is, es como calentado yeah. o es cocinado en una llama alta. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Taste, added, put. Ah, very good. Nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Voy a mandar este worksheet al grupo que les dije que lo iba a mandar para los niños que no entraban a clase ahora. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. ¿Por qué usted? Okay. ¿Cuál es la preferencia? Ninguna, <laughs> pero todos estos días... Dice el mer que me he estado portando bien porque he estado subiendo la PPT. Eso sí. Vaya, ya ven. Because they, they are celebrating know, Father's Day. Father's Day, no te Yeah. Day. It's, it's for that, for that reason. Yeah. I know. It's okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Yeah. All right, bye.
Then being uh, then the beans. No, the bean, the beans are placed. Okay, and what about making paper? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Roaster. And, and then. And then. Cook. Then. Cook. And then cook. Then... Hasta que el maíz revienta. Ajá, y calienta sería eh, esto mismo, ¿verdad? Heated. Sí. The pot is heated. David, Ajá. Ana, Angelina, what is the past participle of put? Ay. <laughs> I remember it. Uh, yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Put, put, put. Put. Los tres. Yes. Put. Igual que cut, cut, cut. No vea yeah. esto, que voy no. a borrar. <laughs> Me va a dar algo. <laughs> no, <mira. laughs> no. Okay. It's a very difficult teacher. I know, Anita, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> es para hacerlos pensar el doble. Yes. Eh, esta parte no, no entendemos. Eh, In this part. Next. Uh, next. The, the pot. pot. Maybe you say the, the pot. pot is placed on the oven or on the stove. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, it's placed. It's placed. Uh -huh. uh, on the stove, in and the oil is heated. Ah, yeah, it's heated. Yeah, you have it's heated. Yes, it's heated on a high frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Yes. Eh, y the next is uh -huh. in this part. Esto es como eh, es calentado suavemente. Is It's possible. The, flame. the pot. Yeah, is. Es calentado suavemente. Is heated gently. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, you can use that one. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice okay. job, guys. Okay, thank you.
Did you say Nisha? Hi, Elmer, did you finish? Hi, no. <clears throat> All right. What about Eric? Uh, well, Diego, I know, was working with Elmer. Eric, did you finish? Uh, no, not yet, but All right. almost. Almost. Okay, that's nice. We're just going to wait for everybody else to come in, and I'm going to share the answers. You may have different <clears throat> ones, but that's okay, as long as they make sense, okay? Okay. Where is everybody else? They're still coming back. They're working very hard, El Mercito. <laughs> My dear teacher. Yes, El. Uh, exercise uh, uh, for today, send you to the WhatsApp is very hard. <laughs> I know. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what, Elmer? I'm going to explain that tomorrow because I knew that not many people were going to come in today. So that's why at the end I decided not to teach that topic tonight because mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to, I mean, be lost tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, were you able to finish? Anna, Selena, David, Francisco, Mario, Noe, were you able to finish? Or we uh, we barely got to uh, two, actually. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I know it was a little bit. Comp I was. It's not complicated. It's just you need to put thought into it. All right, that's Anna. <laughs> Did you finish, Noe? No, no. Continuation. Continuation. <laughs> Continuation. Todavía. Oh, no, okay. no faltó ahí toda. <laughs> All right. Very good. That's All right. nice. Yeah. That's a nice pronunciation. Yes, of course it is. Okay, Natalie. <laughs> What about uh, you, Natalie? I work with Mario Cortez, yes. uh, who actually has a really good pronunciation. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but but we didn't have the how to make uh, coffee. I okay. didn't have that screenshot. Just the first oh, one and the last one. And the one. last one. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is um, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna share with you the possible answers. When I, whoa, Mario, that's a lot of noise by your house. Uh, I know. <laughs> when I say possible answers, is because you might have different verbs, but as long as they make sense, it's okay. All right, okay. so I'm going to share that with you. We can compare, <clears throat> all right, but don't worry if you don't have the, exactly the same as I'm saying. If you have it, like, and it makes sense, it's okay. So let's see. Natalie, can you start reading, please? Popcorn is something. Popcorn is something you often get when you watch a movie at a cinema. It is very easy to make perfect popcorn if you follow the correct process. I will outline it below. The first step is that three tablespoons of oil are added. Or put mm -hmm. uh -huh, in a large pot. Next, the pot is placed on the stove and the oil is heated on a high flame. All right, continue. Next, one kernel of popcorn is added. After this kernel pops, a quarter cup of popcorn is put into the pot. The pot is covered with a lid. Mm -hmm. In the next stage, the flame is reduced okay. and the pot is Gently shaken until the corn pops. Then the pot is removed from the stove, which is turned off finally. Uh -oh. Finally, the popcorn is emptied into a large bowl where melted butter and salt are added. In summary, making popcorn is very easy if you follow the step above. Enjoy your movie, and your popcorn. Excellent, all right? Now what I want you to do, if you have the answers or the work that you were like doing with your classmates, try to compare what you have with what I have here. Again, this is not like written on stone. If you have mm -hmm. other verbs that make sense, it's okay. All right, so kind of check it and go over it. 
Now, what is important here is not only that the verb makes sense, but also the structure that you're using, okay? Remember that we're talking about basic passive. So is the verb be, either is or are, depending if it's singular or plural. Is the past participle of the following verb, okay? Make sure that you are not making up verbs that don't exist on the past participle, <laughs> all right? So make sure that you don't say shuken instead of shaken or put it, right, <laughs> instead of put, okay? So make sure that you know your uh, past participle verbs. Very good. Let's continue with the other one here. Um, Selena, do you mind reading? Selena, do you mind reading the other one, please? I'm just going to move it. Want coffee? Uh-huh. Want coffee? Coffee is a very popular drink around the world. People drink it at all times of the day. There are several kinds of kinds, coffee. Kinds of kinds coffee. coffee. But I am now going to describe how instant coffee is produced. Huh? It's produced. First, produced. Mm -hmm. First, the coffee beans are picked from the tree are picked, are picked mm -hmm. from the trees and dry in the sun then the beans are roasted and then co cool. cooled, cooled. Cool, cool rapidly before being ground the beans are then mixed with hot water and the mixture is strained before it is frozen. Finally, the frozen mixture is grown and then dry in vacuum before it's packaged in two jars. It's packed the coffee into is jars. Now, mm -hmm. The coffee is now ready to be sold in shops. Okay. Instant coffee is not quite as good as real coffee but it's very popular and saves a lot of time. The manufacturers have done most of the steps for us. Very good, thank you, Selena, all right? Remember that, remember guys, most of these verbs, I mean, not most of them, but a lot of these verbs, they are like um, regular verbs, okay? So the pronunciation of them, they finish with ed, but we need to be careful with the pronunciation of the ed endings. Remember that we have three different pronunciations, the d, the t, and the id sound, all right? So not all of them are going to sound how they are like written. So we need to understand and we need to remember those rules, all right? In case you don't have those rules for the pronunciation of the simple past and the past participles, of the regular verbs i can send it to you all right so you practice and you review because it's a matter of reviewing only all right very good thank you again as i said you might have <coughs> different, you may have different verbs but that's okay all right as long as they make sense um, last passage um diego do you mind reading for us okay uh, making paper. Mm -hmm. First, the tree is cut down, then the branches are removed. After that, the trunk is taken to the sawmill. Sawmill. Mm -hmm. Here, the sawmill. Here, the bark is removed from the trunk, and the trunks are sawn into logs. The logs are taken to the paper mill and placed in the shredder. Shredder. Uh -huh. Here, here they are cut into small strips and mixed with water. After that, they are heated and crushed. They're heated and crushed. All right. I know. Like I was visiting like your um your groups while you guys were working. And most of you told me that it was a little difficult because the verbs are not given, all right? Sometimes it's easier when I put the verbs that you need to use in brackets and you just need to write the PP of the, the past participle of the verbs. But in this case, it wasn't given to you. So you had to come up with the verb, okay? Was it difficult for you guys? Was it like a challenge? 
Or was it? Yes, okay? it was a challenge. Yeah? No, it was a challenge. Oh, yes, yes it was hard. It was and, hard? And, uh -huh. and what about? Oh, it made me think. We had, we had a lot of doubt with bark. Uh huh. Uh, we, it's a synonym of, of ring, right? It's a synonym of what? <clears throat> ring. R I N D. Bark. Bark is like tronco. Uh, okay, we couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah. For the last one, right? For making Check. paper. Can you uh -huh. please or send the rule? Uh huh. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Selena, you were saying? Can you send the rules to pronunciation? For please? the pronunciation, because yes. Because I need. I need help with, with yes. that. Yes. All right, Selena. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm gonna Thanks. I'm gonna look for it and I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah. It's important, guys, that we need to uh, pronounce. And this is not only <laughs> Selena's difficulty. Most of us we have these difficulties when we're reading the simple past tenses. All right. En su escritura son fáciles porque todas terminan en ed. Pero la, la pronunciación son tres diferentes pronunciaciones y los que vienen conmigo lo hicimos y hace como un año or so, all right? So there, is, there are rules, Selena, and we just need to study them, okay? Again, you need to practice them and memorize the rules, all right? And then you, 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 you'll work it better, all right? Very good. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now did you know, now that you're seeing this and I'm sharing with you the answers, did you know the meaning of all the verbs seen these verbs before or did you find verbs that they were totally new for you uh, um, no, no yes quite. i think we have we have some, some you have a couple us. all right yes all right so the idea guys um i was uh joking with um eddie and who were you working with, Eddie? Anyway, I was joking with them because I, when I went into- Yeah, I think. Yeah, all right. Yeah, when I went into their breakout rooms, I told them because Eric said, this is a little bit difficult. And I said, yeah, because this is pre-advanced three, right? So I'm always like referring to that, but it is true guys. I mean, sometimes we're used to getting all, not the answers, but if I was, I could have given you the verbs, all right? And you just were only going to put it on the past part. And that was it. I mean, the to be plus the PP of the, the following verb. But that would have been way too easy for you, all right? Now, to this level, guys, it's very good that you start like thinking, really thinking in English and trying to really understand what they're talking about, all right? And you're going to be dealing with different readings and passages. If you continue with us, for example, on TOEFL preparation courses, these type of readings are nothing compared to those uh, readings that we're going to encounter later on because they are really, really difficult, all right? So we need to get hands-on on practicing with like things that are not so easy, all right? And they're like a little bit more complicated because that creates a challenge for you, all right? To this level, everything should be a challenge now because you're not beginning, you're not at the beginner levels anymore. You're hitting almost at the end of the whole course. So it's very good for you to be thinking and trying to understand. I was with Noemi and Williams and Williams said, I have, we have put, put in every single verb, right? Like is put, or put, everything was put, put, put. And then uh, I was working with them a little bit, but then they told me some other verbs. And I said, well, you see, I mean, if you, if you actually like challenge ourselves, we can come up with more things, all right? It's just a matter of taking that chance and taking that challenge, all right? So yeah. this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna send the answers also on the uh, WhatsApp group, all right, just for you to have it. Again, as I said, this is not written on stone. If you have other verbs that they make sense, it's okay. All right, as long as you follow the structure and as long as they make sense. We're going to stop the class right here. I know that we took like the whole class to do this worksheet because it wasn't that easy. All right, but what is important is that you guys understanding 
the usage of these uh, structure, which is passive, simple passive voice expressing processes, all right? Tomorrow we'll have a new topic. I know tomorrow is the last uh, class of this week, all right? So we're gonna talk about um, non-defined and defining relative clauses, all right? We have seen them before, but we have to review them again, all right? So try to be in class tomorrow, don't miss it out. And after that, we'll have one more week and we're done. All right. So thank you so much for being in class. I know that some of you were celebrating and some of you were not, but that's okay. I mean, I mean, some people were not in class because of that. So that's okay. I understand. So thank you so much, guys, for being with us. And I'll see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, teacher. Bye-bye.